What are the best vegan boots? As someone who owns well over a hundred pairs of boots, it's a question I've been asked before and you can find options actually that are fairly well made. I'm not gonna tell you that vegan leather is as durable or long lasting as cowhide, but I'm not gonna fault someone who wants to not kill animals with their footwear. Like that's, that's fine. Like I'm not a vegan myself. I did spend five years as a vegetarian. Uh, and, and look, I get it, man. Like let's be honest, slaughtering animals is pretty messed up whether you eat meat or not. Like no one wants to think too hard about it. And if you do think hard about it and wind up at the decision to wear vegan shoes, uh, I commend that, to be honest. Now, a lot of guys will hear that and say, aha, but Nick, leather is just a byproduct of the meat industry. If you don't turn the skin into leather, it'll go in the trash. And vegan leathers are usually made with types of plastic that will never biodegrade and isn't that worse for the environment? And to that I say, I don't know, man. I'm not a scientist or a vegan. I just think it's okay if you'd rather not have dead animals on your feet. And not all vegan leather is made with weird plastics. To be fair, most of it is, including the best made ones, I think. Like, uh, like, like vegan leather is usually synthetic, typically polyurethane or polyvinyl chloride, which are kinds of plastic. Often this stuff gets laminated onto polyester or nylon or cotton. Uh, it's like not biodegradable, it's hard to recycle. Some companies are coming out with bio-based polyurethane though, which has a lower environmental impact, which is pretty cool. It's like made from vegetable oils, uh, cashew nut shell liquid, eucalyptus top, stuff like that. And I've got an option like that on this list. And there are also other vegan leathers made from plants. There's apple skin, which they make with leftover apple matter from the juice industry. There's, uh, there's cactus leather, which of course requires very little water because it's a cactus. And it also doesn't kill the plants. Uh, they take the leaves off and they get like regenerated. There's cork leather. I'm gonna mention examples of all of these in this video today, which is not long enough to go into all the pros and cons of all these kinds of vegan leathers, but I've got an article in the description below that goes into more details if you wanna learn more about them. Today, just for the sake of brevity, I wanted to talk about some good options that are more durable, some more environmentally friendly, so you can make some decisions that are right for you. First, I'm starting with the best known vegan boots, which are Doc Martens. There's no escaping Doc Martens vegan line. This was one of the first global brands to make vegan leather footwear. And while there are more versatile boots on this list, the Felix from Doc Martens wins for the toughest boot by virtue of its Goodyear Welt construction. It's hard to make boots like this with vegan leather, especially at the lower price points that vegan boots typically demand, but it makes for a boot that's much more water resistant, durable, and easy to resole. It's not that easy to resole Doc Martens, but it can happen. The Felix lace-up boot is the same design as the ubiquitous classic Doc Martens 1460, and they still have their super comfy air cushion sole and signature yellow stitching. The only difference is that the entire shoe is vegan friendly, made with what they call, quote, a synthetic material, which is soft and supple and has a subtle two-tone finish, end quote. They refuse to give any more details than that as to what it's made from. It seems like it's PVC, which, uh, you know, won't bite a grey, doesn't breathe well. But that's true of most vegan leathers, so I don't, don't want to act like Doc Martens are more guilty of that than anyone else. Doc's win for vegan boots based on the durability, the colors available, and the availability, because a lot of the other brands I'll mention in this video are small companies that have trouble keeping stock available. For the best vegan Chelsea, I was gonna mention Doc Martens again, they've got a good one, I've linked below as well, but then I learned that Blundstone has a vegan option which I had to talk about. Blundstone is an institution in Chelsea boots and one cannot turn a corner in Manhattan during boot season without spying a pair. Primary drawback is like they're not super versatile in that regard and they aren't resolable, but the brand's shoes are very lightweight, very water resistant and very, very comfortable. So much work has gone into the boots comfort at Blundstone that the sole absorbs up to 90% of shock when you're walking. Plus these vegan Chelsea boots are lined with a breathable microfiber that's antimicrobial, antibacterial and thermoregulating. They're also more transparent than Doc Martens as well. They'll tell you where everything's from. The upper is made from On Micro, a microfiber that's breathable, washable, antibacterial, abrasion resistant and waterproof. And the boot is certified by Eurofins, which tests materials to the molecular level to verify there's no animal biomaterial. So you can be confident this gigantic company, Blundstone, is doing their due diligence with this boot. The best chucker, Clark's Desert Boot, believe it or not, they do indeed have a vegan option. It's the most iconic chucker boot bar none, the Clark's Desert Boot. It's a style inspired by North African footwear that was later worn by soldiers fighting in Africa's Western Desert campaign in World War II. The Desert Boot is known for its ankle height, soft crepe sole, two or three rows of eyelets, and usually a soft suede upper. Here though, Clark's replaced the upper with a vegan friendly microfiber that mimics the durability, flexibility, and comfort of suede without the cow. It is partly made from polyester, if that's an issue, like the Blundstone boot, but the style can't be beat. And to make things even more planet-friendly, the soft crepe soles are certified by the Forest Stewardship Council. So pretty good, 
fairly sustainable. Now we're gonna move into a bit more obscure territory brand wise. So apologies if these models aren't available when you watch the video, but they are worth taking a look at. The best vegan mock toe is from a brand called Brave Gentle Man. It's a New York designer that has probably the most stylish vegan boot line I think I've seen for men. They have a really wide range of boots, including some vegan Chelsea's if you want something slimmer than the Blundstones or Docks. And they actually have two mock toes I wanna to mention. This rugged scout boot and the more subdued worker boot. Both of which I recommend checking out. They're designed in New York City and made in Brazil, and it's a beefy, not that kind of beefy, but it's a beefy mock toe that comes with a rugged lug sole, a pull tab, and Okotex certified PU leather. Okotex, which I'm sure I'm mispronouncing, guarantee materials to be free from any harmful substances, which is actually worth something when you're looking at vegan boots because some vegan leathers in the past have gotten in trouble for containing benzidine or benzodyne, which can break down into a carcinogen. Anyway, this mock toe is certified by them. It comes in brown, black, and even a bright red cardinal color. And again, they've got the worker boot for a more subtle look. Both are pretty good looking boots. The best service boot is from a company called Will's Vegan Store. This is the boot that is the closest to my style and the more popular city boots that you'll find in the market, you know, like, like Thursdays and Parkhurst, that kind of stuff. It's a boot with a low profile lace up look. Will's Vegan Store is PETA approved and uses 100% vegan glues, uppers and linings. Their work boots are carbon neutral, which is really cool, and made from an Italian vegan leather made from plants. It's created by using bio oil sourced from organic cereal crops in Northern Europe. So it's likely one of those bio derived polyurethanes I mentioned before, but they don't explicitly use that term. It's not good you're welted or made with a shank like most vegan boots. Uh, it's hard to find a vegan boot though that is sleek and fashionable and subtle like these. And as soon as I saw it, I thought, that's the most handsome vegan boot that I've seen so far. But let's get even weirder. If you've heard about cactus leather, I thought that sounds pretty cool. It's still fairly new, not many companies are using it in boots, but I did find these two models from a German company called Bohema. So cactus leather, it's called Deserto, is the company that makes it. Very abrasion resistant, Adidas uses it for boxing gloves. It's not in many boots these days, but if you want, they've got these number three boots or these combat boots that look more like Doc Martens. Their site's in German, there's not a lot of info here, but if you want vegan leather that's as eco-friendly as it gets, Cactus leather is definitely worth looking at, so check them out. And then you got pineapple leather. Made from pineapple leaf waste and coated in resin, I can only find sneaker boots made from pineapple leather, the company's Pinatex. These sneaker boots by NAE, stands for No Animal Exploitation, have an almost matte look and a wrinkly, grainy appearance from afar. But if you take a closer look, you can tell they're made of plant fibers. It's made in Portugal, they're crafted with a breathable and hypoallergenic microfiber as well. They have a low profile and would work with a pair of jeans or even dress down khakis. Pineapple leather is not meant to be very great in rain, but they recommend a frequent application of shoe cream, which would probably help with water resistance. Just make sure there's no beeswax in it. If you like Timberland boots, meanwhile, take a look at these cork leather boots from Grow From Nature. This is pushing the limits of what I would call leather, but it has quite a few benefits as a sustainable material because it's harvested without causing permanent damage to the tree. It actually gets stronger when you harvest the cork and it's moisture resistant as well. It does look like cork though. It's not very leather-like, but they're, they're pretty funky, man. They claim it's as durable as bovine leather and that they're waterproof. So they're also very easy to clean with soap and water. It's pretty cool, pretty interesting stuff. Very small company though. The next one I wanted to show is made from the Apple leather that I mentioned. It's from a brand called Good Guys Don't Wear Leather, which have a few interesting options in their uh, lineup. This is the best Apple skin leather boot I could find. It looks pretty nice and subtle, it comes from Italy, and it's made of leftover apple waste from the juicing industry to make 100% vegan leather. It's also certified by Okotex. The lining is very absorbent, which is good if you're a sweaty dude. It's a pretty new material for footwear. There aren't many long-term reviews of apple skin leather boots though, but if you're willing to roll the dice, it's, a, it's under 200 bucks, like almost everything else on this list, except for those mock toes I mentioned. So it's not a massive gamble, and you get to say you're wearing apple skin boots, which is pretty cool. It is worth noting though that apple skin does get mixed with some polyurethane in the production, so it's not totally, totally, you know, uh, natural plant fibers, but still pretty interesting stuff. The last boot I want to mention here, it's not made from a cool new leather or anything, it is polyurethane leather. I'm putting it last though because they only stock this boot in the winter. It's a little, little company, it's called a Visu, and this is the Walker boot. This one I'm calling the best vegan winter boot because it's lined with a soft, warming, breathable, and hypoallergenic microfiber fake fur lining for warmth. 
And I like the wedge soles contrast with the upper. Like they're, they're pretty stylish and uh, they're warm boots for something totally vegan. So uh, yeah, check that out if you're after something for the colder months. And that's it. I put a couple more options in the article below. There's a cowboy boot in there and a dressier boot. If you wanna check that out, get the full, full list. But this video is long enough as it is. Plus 10 is a nice number, so I'm ending in here. If you like any of those weirder apple or pineapple or cork ones, I do encourage you to check them out ASAP because those materials are still in, in a bit of an experimental phase and brands that are making them are small and God knows how long they're gonna be available for. But otherwise, big brands like Clarks, Bluntstones, and Doc Martens are doing a very good job at keeping their options in stock. So plenty of vegan leather boots out there at the moment, um, check them out. Let me know in the description below if you've tried any of these. I've also heard of a mushroom leather that I couldn't find on any boots, but it's on a couple of sneakers. That's uh, I'm interested to see how that goes as well. Uh, yeah, pretty interesting innovations in the industry right now. Um, and yeah, let me know if you like any of these boots uh, in the comments below and make sure you subscribe here as well. I'm not gonna do a lot of vegan leather boot stuff, but if you like, you know, uh, apparel that's built to last, you're gonna like this channel. So uh, yeah, check it out and I'll see you later.